They say shotguns are really bad. They say that they have a very limited role. And they say they've seen it in their data. <laughs> what happens when you put someone that only plays Fortnite, his favorite game is probably Doom, and has never played PUBG in their life, in charge of the PUBG balancing department? Well, you get these patch notes. In the latest patch, 15.1, PUBG Corp decided to buff shotguns. They say that the shotguns in Battlegrounds continue to have a very limited role, as seen in their data, and to improve their usability, they're going to increase their effective range. Now, what does that mean? They're increasing the damage drop-off range to improve effective range by several meters per shotgun, as we'll see in a bit. They increase the hit probability on short range. I guess they've tightened the pattern a little bit or made it a little bit less random. And they buffed the sawed off, but I wouldn't care too much about that. So buffing the shotguns. Well, in case you were not playing PUBG for the last two years, the shotguns received quite a big buff a while ago. That is patch like 10 or something. And this is 15. And since then, they've been destroying people, especially in the early game, and quite a bit in the late game too. It is true that people are not using shotguns every game, nor do they carry shotguns in the end game typically. That's true, I'm not denying that. But the balance guys are only looking at their data. They're not really looking at the real problem here. The reason why people are not using shotguns is not because they're weak. It's because the game design does not allow you to have a shotgun in the end game. Because if you do have a shotgun, that means you don't have a sniper rifle, or that means you don't have an assault rifle. In PUBG, you're limited to two weapon slots, two main weapon slots. So in the first one, you typically have some kind of long range weapon, car and the eight SKS, SLR, mini, whatever. On the second slot, you have something more versatile, something that can do short range and mid range. For the most part, that would be an AK, an M4, or a SCAR. So if you want to mix in a shotgun, you have to sacrifice something. Whereas if you don't have a shotgun, you have long range, mid range, and short range covered. Shotguns are not only short range, but they're also very situational. You rarely want to use a shotgun when you're fighting outdoors. You almost always want to use it only when you're indoors or around houses and fences and similar. Even then, it really depends on which one you have. So let's take a look at this chart. So this graph represents damage depending on the range. The further away you are from your target, the less damage you're doing. But if you look at the red line, which represents the pump shotgun, the S1897, you can see that it does full damage basically up to 10 meters and most of its damage up to 20 meters. And this is, I guess, without a choke and uh, a duck bill. So this stuff is even more extreme if you have those equipped. Of course, after 20 meters, it drops rapidly and it's not really that useful anymore. And you're hitting less and less pellets. So the drop off is even more drastic, I would say. But up to like 10 to 20 meters, a shotgun can even one tap someone. Now, the buff here is in between these two lines. The full line is the noob damage. And obviously the pump hasn't been touched that much. The double barrel, which is the green line, has been touched the most. I still think you should always be using the pump just because of this curve being so good on it and maybe the DBS. The buffing the shotgun doesn't really make it a viable endgame weapon in most situations. If you buffed it even more than this, people would still not be using it as much because it's a niche weapon. So the problem wasn't the damage, the problem wasn't the effective range. It was just the design of both that weapon and the game not allowing you to have a third slot, like some other battle royales do, for example. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that PUBG needs a third slot, but it is the limiting factor in this case. What this patch is probably going to do is make the shotgun even more anti-fun, let's say. Where whatever you use against it, if you're close enough to it, you're always going to lose the fight. That's why a lot of games have some sort of limits to how good the shotgun is or how many shotguns are per team and similar. 
here the shotgun is being made like a phenomenal consistent weapon on close range or indoors and if you want to have it in one of your two slots you need to sacrifice either your mid range or your long range now of course people are not going to do that because people like shooting snipers or people like spraying cars down with their ARs there's no spot for a shotgun but some people are going to say well you can just be a specialist you can be like a melee range specialist in your squad well unfortunately that doesn't really work in PUBG why the hell do I have these on anyways what do you guys think about this change and what do you think is going to happen to shotguns after this patch and maybe even more patches with them thinking that they need to buff them even more because people are still not using them. Surprise. Because you can't deny the data, right? Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.